Thank you very much. It's always a great joy uh, to be with you and to celebrate this garden party. And uh, Father Brian's corny jokes always inspire me. <laughs> so I have a story about a pig too that I want to, <laughs> that I'm going to inflict on this audience. They tell the fable of a pig and a chicken that were walking down the road and they came across this man lying by the side of the road who was starving to death. And the chicken said to the pig, well, we've got to help this man. Let's give him breakfast. We can serve him bacon and eggs. <laughs> and the pig said, well, that's fine for you. Said, it would only be a simple contribution but on my part, it'd be a total commitment. <laughs> well, the seminaries exist because of people's total commitment. These men who've come here to discern and all of those who are working here, supporting the seminary. Uh, I always tell people that the, the silver lining for the, of the pandemic for me was not having to travel. But this last month, I've made up for lost time uh, because I, I had to go to Cuba, Haiti, Santo Domingo. And uh, I was traveling with a group of doctors and we were taking supplies and so forth. But it was also an opportunity for me to reconnect with the priests who had been in the seminary 20 years ago when I was the seminary visitator in Cuba, Haiti and Santo Domingo, and I was thinking about what a privilege it was to be sent by the Holy Father to visit 20 seminaries in Latin America, do studies of them and so forth. And, uh, so I have seen a lot of seminaries in my day, uh, but none like Pope John. The mission here is unique and has made such an impact on the life of the church. Uh, I'm the only bishop in the United States that's had four dioceses, and in each of my dioceses I've had graduates of Pope John, and they have been extraordinary, wonderful priests and pastors. But I dare say, if this seminary did not exist, there would be many men who would never have been ordained. I want you to think about that. Younger men, if they don't go to one seminary, may end up going to another one. But men who are second career candidates, if they don't fa happen on Pope John, chances are they will never go to the seminary, never be ordained. And so Pope John has made that very, very unique and valuable contribution to the life, not just of the church in Boston, but all over the country and all over the world. And so we're very, very grateful to the support that all of you give so generously and faithfully to this institution. And I am very, very grateful to Father Brian Kiley. And only for him would I dress up and disguise myself as a cardinal. But, <laughs> but that just is because I appreciate what he's doing so much. And now, uh, following the five minute uh, rule <laughs> that not everyone observes, uh, uh, I will bless the food. The Lord be with you. Stay, stay seated, that's fine. Let us pray. Father of goodness, we bless and praise your holy name, who are the source of every good gift, the source of life, the source of newness and life in our faith. We invoke your blessing upon us, upon our seminarians and priests and, and all the benefactors and friends of Pope John Seminary. Bless our food and our fellowship here tonight that are signs of your loving providence as together we pray. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen.